now we discuss oxidation and reduction reaction for this purpose we discuss different examples that is magnesium reacts with oxygen to form magnesium oxide similarly carbon reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide in above reaction what happens so reactant combines with oxygen other examples are mgh2 gives mg plus h2 and ch3 dash ch3 gives ch2 double bond ch2 here both reaction reactant loses hydrogen thus the chemical reaction in which reactant combines with oxygen or loses hydrogen to form a product it's called oxidation reaction similarly some oxidation reactions are brought about by use of specific chemical substance is known as oxidizing agent or oxidant for example acidic potassium dichromate makes oxygen available for the oxidation of the reactant ethyl alcohol to form acetic acid such chemical substance that is acetic potassium dichromate is called oxidant or oxidizing agent nascent oxygen is used for the oxidation reaction nascent oxygen is always represented by square bracket for example ozone gives oxygen molecules and nascent oxygen similarly hydrogen peroxide gives water and nascent oxygen two questions given in our book answers are ozone oxidant used for purification of drinking water molecules this is because it can oxidize metals manganese into insoluble particles and remove from water molecule similarly potassium permanganate is strong oxidizing agent that's why used during cleaning water tank now we observe above reaction that is 2 kmno4 plus 10 feso4 plus 8 h2so4 gives k2so4 plus twice mnso4 plus 5 Fe2SO4 thrice plus 8H2O. Here FeSO4 is transformed into Fe2SO4 thrice. That is twice FeSO4 gives Fe2SO4 thrice. That is Fe2 plus plus SO4 two minus gives twice Fe3 plus plus thrice SO4 two minus. That is Fe2 plus gives Fe3 plus. That is ferrous convert into ferric here ferric iron is formed from ferrous iron the positive charge is increased by one unit thus oxidation means losing one or more electron on the other hand chemical reaction in which reactant gain hydrogen are called reduction reaction similarly the reaction in which reactant loses oxygen to form product is also called as reduction reaction the substance help for reduction is known as reductant or reducing agent for example carbon reacts with hydrogen to form methane that is c plus twice h2 gives ch4 now we discuss redox reaction the chemical reaction in which both oxidation and reduction reaction takes place simultaneously is known as redox reaction for example copper oxide reacts with hydrogen gas to form copper and water molecule that is cuo plus h2 gives cu plus h2o here copper oxide gets converted into copper that is reduction and h2 gets converted into h2o that is oxidation that's why it is redox reaction 
okay some more examples of redox reactions are twice h2s plus so2 gives thrice s plus twice h2o similarly mno2 plus 4hcl gives mncl2 plus twice h2o plus cl2 gas now we discuss next point uh, that is corrosion for this purpose we discuss some activity that is in four test tube we take four different sample that is boil water salt solution air and anhydrous calcium chloride each test tube we put up iron nail and observe all test tube then what happens sir corrosion of iron nail happens sir in first three test tube on the other hand last test tube corrosion will not be happen sir reddish brown color deposited on iron is known as rust its chemical formula is fe2o3h2o fe is oxidized to fe2 plus aqueous plus two electron in the anode region that is fe gives fe2 plus plus two electron oxygen is reduced to form water in the cathode region that is o2 plus 4h plus plus 4 electron gives twice h2o when fe2 plus ions migrate from the anode region they react with water and further gets oxidized to form fe3 plus ion a reddish colored hydrated oxide is formed from fe3 plus ion it is called rust it collect on the surface that is 2 fe3 plus plus 4 h2o gives fe2 o3 h2o plus 6 h plus okay thus corrosion means slow process of decay or destruction of metal due to reaction of each with environment is known as corrosion now we discuss last point uh, that is rancidity when left or edible oil is heated it start frothing up and its smell turns full if food is cooked in this oil its taste changes this is due to oxidation of oil thus when oil and fats are oxidized or even allowed to stand for longer period of time they become rancid antioxidant are used to prevent oxidation of food containing fats and oils similarly storage of food in airtight container also retard the oxidation in this way we all of us completed that chapter i am explain all exercise after that you write that exercise in your notebook okay